Hi everyone, it's me Chin and Emon, and for today's vlog, we're going to talk about being a responsible adult. Before we jump into the video, I just want you all to know that your teen years are very important. Dito na experience natin yung changes, may it be emotional or physical, and habang tumatanda pa tayo, we realize that life is so much more than this. Hindi lang siya about being a rebel, the internet, the social media, or riding the trends. Uh, there will come a point in your life wherein hindi mo na dapat inaasahan yung parents mo. Basically, adult ka na and you have to be responsible. So in this video, we'll give you tips on how to be a responsible person. First ito, sa mga may hilig mag-shopee dyan o kaya umorder sa food panda. Learn how to manage your money. With every second of the day, cellphone ang kasama natin. Mag-YouTube, makakakita ng clothing haul, pupunta ng Shopee tapos o order. Teenagers like us are easily persuaded. Ang dali-dali sa atin na gumastos. However, we forget the value of money and the importance of budgeting and saving. It's much better to discipline yourself. Mas okay na na magtiis na wag bumili ng hindi naman gaano kailangan kesa magtiis ka sa future mo dahil wala kang ipon. Saving money allows you to enjoy greater security in your life. I am guilty of the shopping as well, pero I agree that it is a great step into being an accountable person. But aside from that, in order to be a responsible adult, you have to have self-discipline and self-control. Uh, as you step into your adulting years, you meet a lot of distractions or a lot of things that can capture your attention and steer you away from being the person you aspire to be. And those distractions could be yung mga basyo, yung pagpaprioritize ng leisure time instead of work, and etc. And if you want to be a responsible adult, you really need to have self-control. Because self-control or self-discipline gives you inner strength and stability. So meaning, if you have self-control, it helps you reach your goals without any interruptions. Number third, you have to admit your mistakes. Kahit mahirap, kailangan nunukin ng pride. Responsible people own up to their faults. The more you are willing to keep peace and apologize, people will less likely end your connections. Pag hindi ma-pride, hindi iniiwan. Bukod pa doon, it allows you to learn from those mistakes. And learning is a great ingredient sa pagkakaroon ng successful and mature life. Fourth, use the power of intention. Every day, we're making decisions and choices. And those choices could range from money, relationship, uh, opportunities, and plans for your future. And kapag nagde-decide ka, you have to be intentional. You have to ask yourself, makakabuti ba sa akin to? Will it lead me somewhere or nowhere? So, by being conscious in making decisions, you take responsibility for your life. And the reason as to why you have to be conscious, kasi you have to remember that no one else will decide for you and no one else will lead your life but you yourself. Number 5. Don't allow yourself to procrastinate. The fifth tip is that you have to stop yourself doing the manana habit. Manana basically means mamayana. Procrastination might offer you self-time and relaxation at first, but it actually gives you more stress than working on the correct time because it brings you pressure and anxiety. For a responsible adult, time is gold. Therefore, a responsible adult does not delay their tasks for it makes them not focus and cram. So maybe unti-unti nyo lang realize na being responsible isn't as easy as one, two, three. It's like forming abs that you need to work out for over and over again hanggang sa maging prominent na siya, hanggang sa magkaroon ka na ng routine or plans to make sure that things go only in your way. So itong limang tips na to, hindi lang ito yung mga steps para maging responsible ka. You can find, you can learn how to be responsible by looking at the people around you, you can find responsibility in the comfort of your home or outside. So, being responsible requires effort. Hindi lang siya basta-basta makukuha. And responsibility is important because no one truly succeeds in life without being responsible. Always remember that responsibility is accepting that you are the cause and the solution of your own matters. And I hope you liked our video and I hope you learned a lot. And 
sana it helped you or made you realize that there are things that you need to change habang teenager ka pa para pag lumaki ka, you're responsible. So, thank you!